Well, it was such a cool opportunity for me and definitely nothing I would have ever expected to be a part of uh, when I was younger and watching the first Cars movie. I remember seeing it in the theaters, so uh, very, uh, very odd, I think, but definitely really cool and, and an honor to uh, be a part of such a great you know, franchise of, of films. My character is Chase Race a lot, so it's kind of a spin-off uh, my name, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure who came up with that, but it was uh, pr pretty neat. But um, you know, my my part's obviously very very small, but just some of a basically a, a part of a younger crowd of racers uh, growing up that are getting into racing and um, are trying to trying to make a name. Brian was awesome. I I'd never met the guy. I didn't when I did my lines. Uh, he was somewhere in California, I was somewhere in North Carolina, and I could see him on like a FaceTime type situation, and we were talking to each other. Uh, but the biggest thing that struck me about him was just how easy he was to work with, and uh, he very easily got me, op got me to open up and get out of my comfort zone and do things that I wouldn't typically do, uh, which is hard to do, but he was just so easy to talk to, and he, he, he kind of just let me flow into certain areas of, of my voice or um, how, you know, loud or soft, you know, I might be in, in certain periods of time. So he, he did a great job. I thought he was awesome to work with and, and really easy and uh, wasn't forceful, just kind of let me do my natural thing and also got me kind of step out of my comfort zone at the same time. So it was great. The biggest thing for me that, that I've looked at with the Cars movies from the first one and then being a part of this one uh, they do their homework on, on everything, which is really cool. They do a great job of portraying what we see at the racetrack um, from the talk that goes you know, back and forth on the radio, from the driver to the crew chief, to the stickers on the car. They do their homework on all that, and there's no, um, th there's no piece of, of anything that we do that is portrayed uh, incorrectly, which I think is really impressive, and it could easily be uh, pushed away and and uh, and forgotten about, and they could just not care. But they do their homework. They show things like they actually are in a, you know, animated kids movie way, which is really cool. And and they tie in things that are real, and uh, I think that's really really neat.